From Israeli singer-songwriter Ivri Leider's first Australian tour in February to the sell-out Symphony for the Soul concerts in Melbourne and Sydney in October, there have been plenty of theatrical highlights on the Jewish calendar during 2010. Orthodox hip-hop star Matis Yahoo, one of New York's rising stars, was a hit with his Australian concert tour in April. Comedian Rachel Berger teamed up with some of Australia's leading actresses to shed their clothes in the comedy Calendar Girls, which opened in Sydney in April and Melbourne in June. In May, Melbourne's Jewish theatre company, JYM, staged its musical, The Witches of Eastwick. In June, it was a gathering of local and international speakers at Limud Oz in Melbourne and Yom Limud in Sydney. West Side Story enjoyed a revival with Josh Pittman playing the lead role of Tony. The lively musical premiered in Sydney in July and is still touring around Australia. Uh, all the friends and family um, uh, are kind of, in the end, who, who you do it for, you know. You get so excited to have uh, the people that you love come and see you and, and support you. And, um, and from what I've been told, you know, from all the Facebook messages and emails and texts I've been getting, Heaps and heaps of people are coming and um, the Jewish community is supporting it really, really well. Thank the Broadway hit Mary Poppins opened in Melbourne to wide acclaim and is still running. Among the cast is Melbourne's Troy Sussman, who has been performing on stage for more than 20 years. There was plenty of musical talent at the Sheer Madness Jewish Music Festival in Bondi in August, including Deborah Conway, Monsieur Camembert and the AJN's Ghetto Blaster competition winner, Shannon Gates. You Ben Hur Fever hit Sydney in October when the outdoor stadium spectacular was held over two nights at ANZ Stadium. Veteran performer Carrie Fisher delighted audiences in her stage show Wishful Drinking, especially her family stories about parents Eddie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. Let's hope 2011 offers just as many highlights. Danny Gox, JNTV. (laughs) 